Hi, in this tutorial we will look at how we can cancel a request in Direct Query. Hi, in this tutorial we will look at how we can cancel uh, the request we made to the server using Direct Query. Um, a lot of times we uh, make requests to the server but we want to cancel them based on uh, you know some things. For example, if I make a request and it's too long, I would want to you know maybe cancel it and maybe try again or maybe the, uh, the request a query is present in a component but when that component unmounts I would want the query to be cancelled I wouldn't want the query to you know continue going on <coughs> because um, the component unmounted so I don't really need it so these are the two scenarios which we'll uh, basically see in this tutorial one if a query is present as part of a component and that component unmounts we would like to cancel the query <coughs> and secondly if um, there is a query which is going on and it is, it is taking a lot of time and you know me as, as a user would want to cancel it uh, I can do that as well so we'll see um, so first of all <coughs> I have this component information and I have uh, basically a query here with a key long delay query and a endpoint this is an api free api where you can pass the number of seconds and it would take that much amount of time to for the uh, you know response to come back so this would take six seconds no matter what and i have <coughs> i'm basically displaying whatever the response is here and uh, as of right now um, i have a state here uh, which would basically toggle the information component that is it would mount it or unmount it by default it's unmounted you can see it um, but when I click on show information then this component would mount and this uh, request would start so we'll you know let's see how that works so let me refresh there is no request I click on show information the request is going on I click on hide information so the component has unmounted but you can see that the request is still going on and it brings a response uh, which we can see yeah this is the response so even though I mounted the component the request started and then and then I unmounted the component the request still uh, was valid and the request went and the response was uh, given back to us uh, after six seconds um, so because the request uh, response is now cached when I would click on show information now it would sh show me this uh, information so maybe you know some people would want that but in this particular example I would want that when the component unmounts then I would want the request to be cancelled so we can do this simply by <coughs> using the abort controller API um, if you are using some uh, simple method or you know uh, like making queries uh, using just axios or just using fetch or using you know old techniques like as XHR at uh, HTML request etc then you have to you know um, make a controller and do all sorts, of, all sorts of complex stuff here you don't have to do that about controller API is basically an API given by the browser so that we can cancel request um, so in this particular case uh, use query has a param prop uh, param in the query function we have so we can just pass it as a option to axios and it would work just like that so now let me refresh I mount the component and then I unmounted the unmount the component you can see that the request is now cancelled so it, it's not like you know the component is mounted and the request is still going on now the request is cancelled so this is how you can cancel it in this stereo now this was automatic cancellation in a way that it automatically detected that the you know component is unmounting so I should stop the um, uh, query or request but you can also do manual cancellation um, so you can do manual cancellation using query client dot cancel queries where in cancel queries function you would pass the uh, this particular query key so uh, let's forget about this component let's say the query is here let me remove it um, and let me replace it and say cancel request and same thing you can see that the signal is still present and here I would want the query client so I can say const query client is equal to use query client and here I would say 
query client dot cancel queries then I'll pass the query key so this is the query key so I can pass it here yeah so basically what it would do is it would cancel the query um, so now if I now this request would go whenever we would refresh the page without you know me pressing the button or anything so keep a lookout on here that the request is still going so I refresh and you can see that request is going I click on cancel request and you can see that the can request is cancelled and this was this request was cancelled manually by a, an action performed by the user you know I clicked on the button and it cancelled the query so and this uh, and this also depends upon the signal as well if I remove the signal and now I refresh the page and I click on cancel request nothing is happening so query client or cancel queries also depends upon uh, you know me passing the signal to the axios options uh, without passing the signal this wouldn't work uh, and also the previous method which you know it automatically um, cancels the query when the component unmounts uh, in which the query is present that wouldn't happen as well without passing the signal so in this tutorial we looked at two ways of cancelling uh, queries <coughs> So uh, I hope you understand it. Uh, if you have any questions, you can comment down below. If you have any further requests, you can also you know, uh, comment down below as well. As always, like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.